Owen Campbell. Um, again, this, this is another devastating win. I mean, Nick Radley, the nice guy, but you went ahead and you did your business. Um, talk to us about your performance. Oh, yeah, he is a great guy, first of all, I have to say that. I would love to see him here at Empress Palace again. I know he's really devastated that he lost, good man. But um, yeah, I'm very happy with my performance. I came here, I did what I needed to do. Um, I was still going to jump a bit harder. I was going to wait like one or two more rounds, wear him down a bit more, and then just unleash. Um, but yeah, I'm happy. Um, still, I also could have done more. I always, I know I, I could. Know, yeah. yeah. But at the end there, I mean, did you hold back a little bit because you could see it was hurt? No, to be honest, uh, yeah, a lot was going through my head. Um, at the same time, I thought like he was going down. He didn't look like it, so I thought this guy's going to drop. And then as his body was yeah. going, he was okay. Then his body went again. Then I threw a punch. Then it was like his body's going to go. So it was like a hesitation. I was like, shit, he's going. I should have, if I look back, I should have just got one more clean in and he was gone. You know, but I mean, for his, you know, he's a, you know, the last guy who was unfortunately, he, he said that maybe he shouldn't have stopped it, but definitely it was a good stoppage. No, when I was speaking to him afterwards, he wasn't lacquer. Um, if it went on even further, it would have been bad for him. Uh, I would have landed another flurry or another punch. I would have come out and, yeah. So one thing that has increased is your knockout record now. I mean, stopping Patrick and now stopping Nick, I mean, you're, you're sort of settled that into like a style now where you, where, you, where you can literally withstand punishment, come back and just give back just as much. Yeah, um, it's not necessarily about the knockouts and stuff, it's about doing well against these tough opponents and stuff and proving to South Africa that uh, we've got what it takes, you know, to fight in the international level and fight these big names and stuff like that. I, I, I can't not do this interview without, you know what I'm going to say, uh, really, Rainer Lieberberg into the ring, I mean, all your, all your thoughts on him calling you out? I thought you were going to ask about my socks again for a second. I can't see your socks today. <laughs> they were on in there. <laughs> but um, no, I knew it was coming. I saw Reno at the weigh-in and stuff, and I knew in my head he would be there. But what was hard was I had to focus on Nick. Yeah. You know, I had to take uh, Reno out of my brain. So all my focus has been on Nick. You know, I've deliberately been like, no, you can't think about that yet. Focus on Nick, because you don't want to underestimate yeah, your opponent, you know? But um, yeah, Reno is the best. If I beat when I beat Reno, it just puts me on another level. Does that mean Reno is next when you say when you beat Reno? Does that mean he's next? You know, I don't know when it will happen because I know Peter wants a certain price for that fight. So that's where the ball's out of my hands. I'm keen, <laughs> but Peter wants a price. He has a he wants money for that fight. And, and, I, and I think you deserve it as well. I mean, fighting Reno is a big fight. I mean, it doesn't matter where it is in the world. Fighting him, you deserve to make a little bit of money. Uh, well, a lot of money, that is. Uh, <laughs> show me the money, yeah, baby. Show me the money. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Peter wins, and you know, he said his pots. Um, in that fight against Reno, it's gonna be surely like any op uh, better than the other opposition you faced. Um, what would you say about him? About sorry, Reno. About Reno, yeah. Your comments about Reno um, as a fighter. Reno's a tough, hard guy, you know. But I think I can outsmart Reno. Um, yeah. Reno, a lot of things are said about Reno and stuff. I've sparred Reno, but Reno sparring to fight is different. You know, like I said, my focus is on Radley, but I, trust me, I'll, I'll work Reno out. I'll, I'll work him out. Well, I mean, you're 12, you're 12 and 0 now, I believe. Yeah. I believe it's yeah. 12 and 0 now. I mean, yeah. some of the fights that people wouldn't have believed that, you, that you'd that win in that style, especially lately. I mean, I, yeah. think, I think 2019 has been an exceptional year for you. It has. Um, so that's sort of given you the belief to be like, actually, you know what, I can actually operate on an international level. Yes. I mean, um, yeah. have you felt that difference or have you always known all along? I mean, No, my self-belief is getting big now. Like, I won't say too big because in this game, I don't think I can get too big. But I'm starting to believe in myself, starting to believe in my abilities and stuff, you know. Like Reno even said, last year, like a lot of people wouldn't have even given me a shot against. Now, like, I've started to prove my ranks and stuff like that. And that's what's awesome about boxing is it just keeps getting better and better and better. Well, what do you attribute to, I mean, obviously, you, you said before, you got a mastermind in the gym called Peter Smith. Yes. Uh, but obviously, you know, it takes two to tango. You know, the boxers yes. got to do this part as well. What have you done in your sort of preparation that gets you that much better every time? Yeah, so our camaraderie is, or I think teamwork, like our relationship is very important. And we have a good relationship. So at the end of the day, I need to do what he says. So I, I, I'm extremely disciplined and focused and do what needs to do. What needs to be done if he says go run this i go run it if he says go eat this i go eat this if he says go take this i take this you 
know. So you put full trust. Yeah, full trust. Nutrition, sports, boxing, life. You know. So my main part is trust, uh, discipline, and determination. I think one of the things in your gym was, you know, Kevin's the the big star in your gym. Yeah. I think you're sort of emerging. I'm not going to say out of because because you know it's not a competition. It's yeah. Not a competition. Yeah. But I'm, I, I think that you sort of making your own star now. So there's like there's two big stars in the gym now. Uh, listen, I'm not on Kevin's level yet. Uh, first of all, thank you to Kevin. Yeah. People don't know, and I haven't said enough of this, but Kevin's helped me in many ways. Just understanding boxing more, doing this, doing that. You know, I spend quite a bit of time with Kevin. I pick his brain. He just talks away or chills with his kids, and I pick his brain. You know. Kevin's Kevin's internationally top 10 WBC I, I've still got a good way to go to Kevin and I'm in no rush to catch him yeah. you know it's not a competition Kevin's great Kevin's on to big things next year I think it's going to be a massive year for Kevin so between you and I, I I'm not with Kevin this no. well, yet I mean, I mean look at it I mean there are steps in boxing yeah um, I think like for example, Kevin's uh, Rainer Liebenberg would be his Johnny Muller, you know, when he got over that hurdle. Yeah. I think that's what you got to step to now. I've actually looked at it like that, yeah. Yeah, so it's like it's like that. I mean, you got the, Rainer admitted it himself, he's the older guy, you know, he's at the end of his, probably be his last fight uh, when, he, when he fights you. Um, when you look at Rainer Liebenberg now, as opposed to him in his prime, I mean, does that sort of give you more confidence? Nah. I look at Peter Smith, Peter Smith's 49, so he's going to be angry at me for saying this. <laughs> but you may see Peter in the gym. You know, it's unbelievable. The man doesn't stretch as much as he should, so he gets a bit tight. But other than that, I don't think age does much. You know, age gives them experience and everything. People who say age, I don't believe it. There's so many fighters that are old or old for boxing. Yeah. You know, I think he's just as deadly. It's his last one. He went to go out with a bang. He's coming for me. And uh, I'm going to ask you again, because I'm, I'm assuming this fight will be made, let's say the money gets put down and they put the correct amount and Peter says yes. I'll ask you again, but I'm going to ask you now, fresh thoughts, what would your prediction be for that fight? Reyna, I'm going all out. Reyna, I'm going to take him out. You train like a demon for that fight? Yeah, you have no idea. I thought I trained hard for Patrick. That fight, the first time I ever met Reyna, he said to me, we're going to fight one day. And that was in like 2016, January, let's, um, don't know. It was the first time I ever met the man. Since then, I've been bittering, fighting him. <laughs> so, it's, so it's been a build up to this. Yes. So um, just lastly, from your side, do you want to give a shout out to anybody? Oh, thank you to Peter Smith. Thank you to the sponsors who get behind me, Adroit, Suzani Plastics, and World Sports Betting. Uh, sponsors really help out in the training camps, the fuel and everything to go with it. Um, thank you to everyone who comes here to watch me and support me. My awesome girlfriend who helps me out. Uh, family, friends, saw them all. People who root and shout for me. Thank you. Much love.